Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the implementation of BCT Adder using Proteus software. So, uh, in, uh, first we have to select the component mode. In the component mode, we have to uh, select P in order to pick the needed devices. So, here we need IC7483, then uh, two AND gates and a three input OR gate. So, instead of giving a three input OR gate, I am going to give two two input OR gates. So, uh, then we need LED and also logic toggle. So I am selecting the OR gate. Now we need an AND gate. Now IC7483, then LED, I am selecting LED green, now we need logic toggle. Okay, now I am selecting IC7483. So, in order to implement this as given in the circuit diagram, I am going to rotate this. Okay. So, now we have to give the logic toggle at the inputs. So, I am selecting the logic toggle and I am going to rotate this clockwise. So we can connect those logic tables to A4, A3, A2, A1 and B4, B3, B2, B1. So we have given the inputs. Now we have to give another sound for it IC over here. And I'm going to rotate this. Now we can connect this. Before that. Okay, now let's connect this. So we have connected this. Now I have to give 0 at 4, 7 and first I am going to give 0 at 4 and 7. That is I am going to connect 4 and 7 at ground.
So ground, this is the ground terminal. So, so 4 and 7 is connected to ground that is we are connecting B3 and B2 to ground so we need 0 1 1 0 over here sorry we have to connect uh, B4 and B1 to ground not uh, this thing so we have to connect B4 and B2 to ground B4 and B1 to ground So we have connected B4 and B1 to ground and we have to connect uh, B2 and B1 to the output of this OR gate. So let us connect two AND gates. So I am taking the command mode, I am taking the AND gate and placing that over here. Now X mirror, so it will be in this form. Now I have to place another AND gate and X mirror so it will be of this form. So I can connect this to S4 and S3. And this to S4 and S2. Now the output of this two AND gates can be given to an OR gate. And now this C out and this output of this OR gate is given to another OR gate. Now we can give the output of this OR gate to uh, 4 and 7 or B3 and B2 over here. Okay, now we can connect LEDs to the output of this IC 7483. Before that, we can ground. Before that, we can ground this also. 13. 13 is C in. So, this C in can be grounded. And also, we can ground this C in also. This 13 is also C in. So, we can ground that too. And now we have to we can give LEDs over here. And this C4 is ignored. We'll be taking this uh, as the uh, final output, final carry. This output output of this OR gate as the final carry output. And this C4 is ignored. So we can give uh, this four outputs to LEDs and also this output of this OR gate to another LED for carry output.
Now we can connect this LED to the output of this OR gate and this will be acting as the final carry out. Now we can connect ground. So the circuit is now complete. Now we can do the verification part. So in BCD addition there are three cases. One is when the sum is less than 9. Second one is when the sum is greater than 9. And third one is sum is less than 9 but a carry is generated. So first we will consider the first uh, this case that is when sum is less than 9. So we are going to add 4 and 3. 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0 and 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. So we must get 7 at the output that is 0, 1, 1, 1. So let us verify that. So I am going to give 4 here. So that is 0, 1, 0, 0 and 3 here that is 0, 0, 1, 1. So at the output we must get 7 which is 0, 1, 1, 1. So let us run the simulation. So the result is verified. So it is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 which is equal to 7 and no carry out. Now let us consider the second case that is when sum is greater than 9. So we are going to add 7 and 7. So that is 0, 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1, 1. So we will get it as 1, 1, 1, 0. This is invalid BCD. The sum is greater than 9 over here. So we have to add 6 to the sum. So we will get the result as 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 which is equal to 14. This corresponds to 1 and this corresponds to 4. So we will get 14 in uh, so this is the uh, so BCD representation of 40. So let us verify this. So we can give 0, 1, 1, 1 to A and B. 0, 1, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 1, 1. So we are giving 7 and 7. So the result will be equal to 14. So it will be equal to 1 here, 0 here, 1 here and 0 and 0. So let us run it. So the result is correct. It is 1 here and 0, 1, 0, 0. Now let us consider the third case. That is the sum is less than 9 but a carry is generated. So let us consider this case. That is we are adding 7 and 9. So the result must be equal to 16. So 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1 and 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. When we add this we will get it as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 which is an invalid result which is not correct. Uh, so we have to add 6 to this sum. So we are adding 6. So we'll get it as 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So this corresponds to 1 and this corresponds to 6. So we have, this is the representation of 16 in BCD. So answer will be like this. So let us give 7 and 9 to A and B. So this is 7 and I'm going to give 9 over here. So 1, 0, 0, One. So 7 and 9. So the sum should be equal to 1 0 1 1 0. So I am going to run the simulation. So the answer is 1 0 1 1 0. So it is 1 and it is 6. So we are adding 7 and 9. So we'll, we are getting 16. This is 1 and this is 6. So we have verified all the three cases. So that's all about this BCD ADA implementation using IC7483. Thank you.